They were Queen Elizabeth's royal soft spot, her beloved corgis. The short-haired pooches were the queen's steadfast companions for nearly eight decades. From meetings with dignitaries to photo ops, the corgis were always by the queen's side. These corgis definitely had a front seat to history just alongside the queen. Um, they saw everyone who came through the palace to meet the queen. It all started with Susan, gifted to the queen on her 18th birthday. The lucky dog even tagged along on her honeymoon with Prince Philip. The queen went on to own more than 30 dogs during her reign, most of them descending from Susan. From Susan came 14 generations of corgis. Susan birthed sugar and honey, Further down the corgi family tree came Shadow and Minnie. Willow was the last corgi to descend from Susan. Prince Harry revealed his grandmother's dogs had been barking at him his entire life. This one walks in absolutely nothing. Just laying on Just my feet during tea. It was very sweet. What's not to love about the cute little corgi? With their calm demeanor and loyal personality, they are the perfect companion, fit for a queen. Donna Lewis runs Hudson Valley Corgis in New York. What do you think that they, the queen has done for people's love of these dogs? If it wasn't for the queen, uh, the average person would know about the corgi. Queen Elizabeth left behind four dogs. So what will become of the remaining royal pups? A couple of the dogs were gifts from, from her son, Prince Andrew. Um, so we'll, we'll, it remains to be seen um, where they will go, but we know they're still so loved within the family.